All right, <clears throat> just got back. I call it a little cardio. You'd call that weight training? Would you call that weight training? Yeah. Okay. Well, it was an F45 class, my first time ever taking that. It's like an Australian fitness class thing. I gotta make sure my mic's on. It is. Um, and it was, it was all good. It was good. It was like, I would say it's like Orange Theory back in the States. We actually have F45 in the States. I know they're in California. But I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of post-workout. Um, I'm taking the EPH, um, EPH, EHP labs. Um, I have a buddy who works there that hooked me up. Thank you, Craig. So I'm getting a scoop of that, 25 grams. It's the vegan one. And not to be too cliche, but Sour Patch Kids. So I had another Australian friend, Richie, came and supplied us with all sorts of Australian goodies, Vegemite and cheese crackers. Uh, I don't know how I feel about that. You still have to try Vegemite. Yeah. How do you feel about that? Um, we'll try some Vegemite here one of these days, maybe even today, because today's all about eating on the road. So a hard 45 minute, I would say circuit training session. We're gonna get um, some of these, about 22 carbohydrates, 15 grams from sugar along with 25 grams from that vegan protein shake. And my arms, I can't hold up the camera right now. <sighs> Today, we're gonna go try to explore some of Sydney. Um, I'm trying to think of what are some very Australian dishes I should have. Anything you wanna try? No. You don't know? I'm thinking we probably should try some barramundi for you out there. I should go out there and catch some barramundi. Barramundi is this amazing white fish that they have in Australia. Hey, oh, kangaroo, mate. I don't know, mate. Should we try it? No kangaroo for you? No. It's not bad. I've actually had kangaroo heaps of times. You like that usage of Australian lingo? Apple, green apple, kale, and cucumber. We will do about four ounces of this. Look at that pour. Look at that pour. It's a great pour right there. No breakfast is complete without pineapple. Digestive enzyme properties, perfect for digesting all this protein I'm about to consume. A couple orange slices for vitamin C while I'm traveling. Keeps me from getting sick. A little English muffin action because most English muffins all have the same macros. A one egg white omelet with just tomatoes and tomato. spinach. No cheese or anything, just egg whites. Yeah, tomato, egg white with tomato and the cheese. Uh, no cheese. No, just tomato. Just, just tomato and spinach. And the spinach, of course, yep. for the and, egg white. Yes, and, that's all good. And then could I get uh, in a separate pan, Yeah. Uh, one egg, uh, one egg over medium. Yeah, so just the one fried egg. Easy. Yeah, one fried egg. egg. Yeah, and then one egg white omelet. Thank you so much. Yeah. If you ask nicely, they'll do it for you. And they'll do usually a pretty good job. If the hotel doesn't have an omelet bar, I'm usually getting hard boiled eggs. If they don't even have hard boiled eggs, I'm going to IHOP. Here's what I'm working with. Egg white omelet, two whole eggs, the jelly on the English muffins. These will be for the whole eggs. One slice of bacon, pineapple, we got our green juice, and then chia seed pudding. Chia seeds, great healthy fats there. It's like a little chia seed shot. And then that's not for me. That's for somebody who's going to be joining. This is meal one. I'll have to guesstimate on my fitness pal what the macros are, um, but I eat something similar to this every day, so I know I'm probably not more than about 70 carbs here. 70 carbs, I'd say right around mm, 14 grams fat and probably uh, 35 grams protein. Cheers. <laughs> okay, okay, you knew it wouldn't be a full day of eating in Australia without an acai bowl. So, rolled up to this joint. Had good, good Yelp ratings and 
had good reviews on Yelp, so we're gonna see how it goes. I'm sure it'll be great. Everything in Australia is great. If you don't know, I love Australia. There, I said it. I love Australia. Thank you. Hello, <laughs> my mates from the states. <laughs> uh, I'll do the hippie, the hippie bowl. Oh, the hippie bowl with hemp protein. Goodness. This looks like the acai of acai. So we got goji berries, super fruit, fruit, blueberries, super fruit. Banana, which is good for potassium because we worked out. We got a little peanut butter drizzled over the top and some coconut flakes over right here. What'd you get? Ooh, the Beach. zucchinis look good. The coconut mm -hmm. flakes. Passion fruit. And I got extra uh, hemp protein added to mine. It is a good thing we have a big room because I brought two douche bags. Well, three if you include me. Four if you include my backpack. Um, shoes. I brought that many suitcases because I always love Australian fashion and I always take home a lot home with me. Um, get a nice little junior sweet here. I've been munching on this since the acai bowl. I didn't feel like that was a ton, um, you know, it's like four o'clock now and I have only eaten breakfast, the acai bowl and this, and now we're about to get down on a room service quinoa salad. It's about six ounces of chicken. <clears throat> about a half cup of quinoa, but I'm also gonna help out on this. Instagram, real life. Instagram, real life. <laughs> the Diet Coke is mine too. And I'm gonna help out with that. All right, one of my favorite places I've ever been in Australia is the Coogee Pavilion. We were here, little DJ action, who's that? Oh, Hayden James. Now we're eating, getting a little bit dirty. Buffalo margarita pizza. I have the sashimi raw fish plate coming from the, the chef sashimi and uh, I know I'm gonna have a little bit of that so straight protein for me with a couple slices of that I'll be set. All right here's what mine looks like probably around 30 28 grams of protein. I already had two slices of that but it's buffalo mozzarella so I feel like it's Healthier. So tasty. Here's the problem when I go out to eat. I can't leave food behind. I should be able to leave that, but growing up in a family of seven, if you didn't eat all, like there were so often times like I was left hungry that like you don't leave pizza. I mean, I was a big eater as a kid. So like we had pizza, it, there were no leftovers, it didn't last. So this, it doesn't work for me. It has to, it has to go. No pineapple ever. I'm not eating it for flavor. I'm not eating it for flavor. I'm eating it just because it can't be left behind. <laughs> There's a saying here in Australia. Say it again. That's something they say. I don't know what it means. But we're not here to have spiders. Alright, to finish off this video, I figured I better rate some of these. Australian, I guess you call them foods. The first one, Cadbury covered Oreo cookies. Pretty much just your basic Oreo covered with Cadbury chocolate. Now this one is, uh, I can definitely get on board with. I could definitely, yeah, that's not bad at all. You know what though? It's not good enough to break my macros. Break the macro bank. Just a bite. How about that self-control right there? Putting it away. Let's see what we have next. And I also want to shout out Richie Go for uh, hooking me up with all these treats. Oh, okay, this one, this one I don't even want to try. This one is licorice with dark chocolate and it looks like black licorice on there. So, Daryl Lee, double coated chocolate bites. I'm really worrying about these. Hey guys, I can do these videos now where years ago, I had no self control. I would have a bite of junk food like this, like just a bite of that Oreo, and I would have to eat the whole box and then all the Tim Tams. Like I can remember being in my hotel room, traveling for Optimo, just smashing all this junk food. I had no balance in my life. I, nope. 
Oh. Oh. That should be outlawed. That is the worst thing I have ever tasted in my life. Give it a go. Give it a go. Oh, shit. The lighting fell off. <laughs> Trying to put it back. Maybe the camera likes chocolate covered licorice and that's why it got mad at me. Ooh, honestly, I know I spit it back in there, but if anyone wants these at the pop-up, they could have them. That'd be really gross. Don't don't take them, I spit it back in there. Alright, next thing. Next up we got. Do you know what kind of bird that is? What kind of bird is that? Looks like an ostrich, but I think it's an emu. Is it an emu? Oh! Featured on this pack is a drawing of an emu. The emu is Australia's largest native bird. I promise I didn't read that before. I just wanted to sound smart. All right, here we go. Drum roll, please. Pretzel balls. Covered in milk chocolate. What are those? Milk duds? Mm -hmm. What do we have? Yeah. Whoppers? No, Whoppers. Um, kind of reminds me of a, a better tasting Whopper. Good, not great. Um, wallaby bites. Now I did have one of these, I had a little bite of them. Dark chocolate, orange, almond, and coconut. Now when I was in the UK, it was around Christmas time, so they had all sorts of chocolate orange. I'm just not a big fan of it. And I know Australian, there's a lot of people with English descent here, so I'm sure you guys love your chocolate orange over here. The saving grace on this is the coconut. The coconut and the orange actually go well together, and the dark chocolate plays in nicely with it, so. That's probably a snack that I would eat. Do you wanna try this one? You sure? All right. Last but not least, cacao raspberry popcorn with live probiotics. Don't try to, don't try to sugarcoat it, or in this case, probiotic coat it. It's popcorn with cacao raspberry, like a probiotic. I don't eat popcorn for a probiotic, <laughs> right? Ooh, it's a probiotic. I don't really know if I, I think it's better than the other flavor of this we got. Honest pop. What is it? Here we go. Cacao raspberry popcorn. Definitely better than the strawberry one we had. I kinda like it. Yeah. Oh, I kinda like it. That's cute, babe. People are gonna like you. Um, <laughs> All right, that wraps it up. Guys, like I said, if you are tracking macros or if you're starting your fitness journey, it's one of the things that I always tell people. January comes around, I hear so many people talking about Oh, I've been doing so well. I've had a whole week and all I've done is eat my chicken and rice, my sweet potato, I'm doing really well. I cringe because inevitably that's gonna come crashing down. You have to have balance, you have to have boundaries. And one of the things I learned years upon years in traveling and fitness is that you can live so tightly, wound so tightly, tracking every macro, not eating any bad thing. There's a time and a place for that if you're doing a competition, but that ultimately leads to unhealthy relationships with food. Having healthy relationships means that you love yourself enough that you want to eat food that's going to give you sustenance, that's going to give you that has nutritious value to it, that has vitamins and minerals, and is not going to be full of empty calories. But you also know there's a time and place traveling. You want to try things that are unique to that area. You're going to have a slice of pizza, but that means not not having a whole pizza. You know, in the past I would have had a whole pizza tonight, but no, three slices followed up with just some sashimi, got my protein in there. That's what I think living balance means. And it might not mean you live, you know, you walk around at 6%. It might mean you walk around at 9% or 10%. But as long as you're getting your good workouts and staying on top of things, that is how I stay on top of it when I travel. So that's pretty much it for a day, a full day of eating here in Australia, down under. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you subscribe. Can we throw a subscribe between my hands right there? A subscribe and then click that thumbs up.